Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to ServiceNow 911. In today's video, we are discussing a very basic thing that is how to load data into ServiceNow. I will explain the proper process and then you can continue and load data. Okay, so let's do it. So where I want to upload the data in ServiceNow, this is my table, ServiceNow 911 data. Here I have these query string and access data. This table has no data. So that's why I want to fill it. This is my sample data. Okay, there are around 25 records which I want to fill in into that particular table. Okay. So now let me show you the procedure first of all. For that I have a proper PDF available. Let me switch over to PDF. This is the PDF which I am talking about. Okay. So when we load data into service now, we have three things. The very first one is data source. So as you can predict from the name, data source means from where the data is coming. Obviously, when we need to move data into service now, it must come from some external source. That source can be an Excel. It can be a CSV file. It can be an XML. It can be a JDBC. JDBC means another database or we can pick the data from any remote location that is from any other server these are the few probable data sources which we have okay so in this example our data source is excel okay once we have the data source first of all service now is moving data into import set table that is the staging table so you can say a staging table is a temporary table where the data is stored for the time being means for temporary basis. If you want to do any kind of processing in the data, you can do in the staging table as well. So once your data is ready to move, then we can transform that data into the actual table. And for that we use transform maps. So in transform map, as you can see, we are just mapping the data, mapping the fields from staging table to the actual table. It is because the data which is coming into the import set table from an external database or external source can have a different name as compared to our target table. So generally we need to map it and find out which is the most appropriate column to move the data from staging table to target table. Don't worry, this is a very simple process. I will explain everything in the demo. So let's quickly move to demo. So now let's quickly go to a module called load data. This is under system import sets. Click on it. So initially, as you know, we have to move the data into import set table. So here we have two options. If you want to create a new import set table, or you have an existing table so you can select the table from here let's say we don't have the table so we have to create it now provide any label this is my import set table in the next step we have to import the data from the source right now we have a file that is an excel file but you can have other options as well you see here all these options are available in the upcoming videos, I will try to choose n number of options and load data, okay? But here we are using Excel, so just go to File, choose the file. The file is there in the desktop. So this is done. Now click on Submit. So now you can see here, system automatically processed your request and created an import set loaded the data into a import set table that is a staging table you can see here and that staging table name is u underscore 911 data then you have the option to create the transform map and then we can proceed so now first of all let me show you the import set this is the import set which will provide you the basic details about the staging table okay and it is saying that we have moved the file and its format was excel the data is in loaded state it means it is loaded into the import set table this is our import set table and this is the data source okay so now next step is see the loaded data so 
how to see the loaded data we have to open this table okay so now click on loaded data you see here it is total of 24 record same as that we have in the excel now let me add the fields as well the two fields okay this is the query and date right just move it up click ok you see here this is the complete data and in each row you can see the status of that particular data so it is pending because the data is still in the import set table it is yet not moved further so now we have loaded data into the import set table very good now next step is to create a transform map okay click on it provide a name here then we have the source table so in source table we have the import set table here because the data is there only and then we have to move this data into the target table this is the target table you have to select the target table so what is the target table this is my target table okay you see here so this is my target table service now 911 data and we have to select the same in this particular record select the target table service now 911 data okay so just to be very clear here this is the source table this is the target table source table will always be an import set table and target table is a table in the service now system in the service now instance where you have to move the data okay if you want to run the business rule when you move the data you can click this if you want to enforce the mandatory fields you can click on it otherwise leave it okay copy the empty field all these are self-explanatory options so you can choose according to your requirement okay before clicking on submit there is an option of run script so click on it so you can do the treatment of source data in this script you can update the data you can make changes in the data accordingly so in the next video, I will explain you how to use this script. But for the time being, we are just learning moving data. Okay. Just skip it. Click on submit. After doing this, you have the related links here where you have to map the fields. I told you we have to map the fields of source table and target table. So you can click on auto mapping if you see the fields are very same okay you need not to uh, apply the mapping manually in that case you can click on auto mapping otherwise just to be make sure it is 100% correct click on mapping assist so this is the source table this is the target table okay so now here date add and here just click on it and add so now these two date fields are mapped in the same way add query field query string and here add query okay so in this way you can map now click on save so we are done with the mapping here you can see the field maps okay so once you have added the field map you can now move to the next step where we have to transform the data from source table into the target table so to transform again you have the related link transform click on it so here you see the map which we have created is already selected if it comes here then you have to move it in the selected option now just click on transform bingo transformation is complete and it is successful there is no error so now let's go to the transform map table first of all this is the transform map table right reload you see here the state is inserted now okay so now let's go and see our table click on it bingo the table is now having the data proper data right all the data moved into it open it yes everything looks perfect so this is how we can move the data into the service now system 
in the upcoming videos we will discuss how to use scripts and all okay all the options but this is the basic thing which you must know remember all these things okay all these what is a data source what is the import set table and what is a transform map so i hope you liked it subscribe to the channel share it with your friends and colleagues thank you so much bye bye